show us your boy AB in the building right now. Watching Take Flight, get to know. Hey, yo, what's good? It's your boy Wings of Take Flight. We are here backstage at More Theatre for the first time in. Oh, nah. First interview out here or what? Yeah, this is my first interview. First ever so, interview first in Australia. Interview. Come on now, Abra in the building, bro. Come on, man. Pleasure. Appreciate, it, appreciate guy, you joining on, me, bro. Man. Look, bro, you popped out as a bit of a last minute special guest. Yeah, yeah? yeah, yeah. How's the experience been for you so far? I know you've been all over the place. Boy, you no, know, I can't lie. Yeah, man. It's the one still. Australia's lit. Australia's lit. You know what I mean? We do hear that, bro. It's, it's lit still. Like the first time I came over, I was there for like 48 hours or something. I had a shoot in Jamaica. So now to pop in, do the show, and then I flew back out. But this time, like, I had enough time to take in the scenery and shit, and then done more shows out there. It's lit, so it's proper, man. Has there been any standouts for you over here, whether it be the shows, the environment, food, anything so far? The food, man. I rate the food. What kind of food are you eating food, out here, bro? bro? I can't lie. Like, you lots of normal food, like, your, like just your normal McDonald's or something. It just tastes, like, proper. We got that you know good beef, bro. Yeah, we got the, that like, good beef, got honestly, like, bro. The, the McDonald's has proper store. Everything's proper, man. Had some Chinese food. It was mad. Um, I went to a Ghanaian joint in Melbourne as well. I forgot what it's called, you know. We got a lot of Ghanaians uh, over here. Uh, yeah, Aquaba. Aquaba? In, in Melbourne. Sick, sick, sick Ghanaian joint. Some jollof rice and that chuffy and all of them thing there. Come on, Australia's yeah, finally man. putting on for food, bro. Yeah, Because no, we hear definitely. mixed reactions sometimes. Yeah. I can't lie, bro. No, serious thing, man. Bro, I saw you last time you came out here real quick. Like yeah, you said, yeah, quick yeah, stop yeah, over yeah, at the yeah. G-Dot Spotify event. Yeah, yeah. But what did you get to do in that short amount of time you're here? Because like you said, you're here for what, two days, four yeah, days? Yeah, bro, I didn't do nothing. You nothing? Know? I stayed in my, my apartment and I was playing my PlayStation, bro. The entire time? <laughs> I swear to you, bro. I, went, I tell you, like, I went to a club after the show. Yeah. And then after that, yeah, I was in my apartment, bro, for the next day. Look, I did hear you a bit of a PlayStation guy and you did yeah. have a good time on the way out here, bro. Why yeah. are you here? Top three PlayStation games. Uh, FIFA 25. Well, all the FIFAs, to be honest, whatever FIFA, I'm a FIFA guy, innit? FIFA, um, uh, right now I'm rating Star Wars. There's a Star Wars game that I'm playing right now. I think it's for Last Survivor or something, or Jedi Survivor or something like that. Um, one last one, bro. What else? Warzone. Warzone. Call of Duty. War to be fair, the whole Call of Duty thing, like zombies and stuff like that. That's your thing. Look, I can't yeah. lie. I have not played a game since PlayStation no 2. Way. Because bro. Big D, we rate the games. Or I, I had to oh. bring my PlayStation on the plane and shit, bro. How do you play? Yeah, so. Is it all cordless these days? Yeah, I got, I got uh, it. I, I got like it. Like, I got it connected to like a screen, innit? Yeah. And there's a screen on top of my PlayStation, and Anywhere, then you just plug anytime, it in. Bro. Yeah, man. Ready. Come on, bro. Uh, yeah. Look, like I said, bro, it's a bit of a surprise out here. Obviously, Hedy was out here doing yeah, the tour. Yeah, yeah. You joined yeah. up with him. Yeah, um, man. How does it feel, bro? Because you've been through a whole lot of shit with Hedy over the years. You've been yeah. connected for so long to now traveling to the other side of the world together to play for thousands, if not yeah. tens of thousands at Promised Land. Cause how's yeah. that feeling for you, bro? No, come on, bro. It's a, it's a good feeling. Me and bro, we've been doing this. You got me. So it's only right like that we bring it to Australia, especially when I. You get me? So, cause obviously we're both from Ghana. Mm -hmm. So anytime we go to Ghana, you know it's lit naturally. You get me, bro? So, like, when we're here, man, seeing the reaction the man them's getting. Yeah, man. Have it's, you um, had any strange or exciting, like, fan reactions as of yet, bro? Bro, someone got my whole face tattered on their arm. True? I swear to you, he, he got a, he's, I think he got like a screenshot from my uh, um, Kadabra Freestyle mm -hmm. in the park. And he's, screen, he's got a, a, literally, bro, it looks so detailed. It's mad. I put it on my socials the other day, bro. It looks so crazy, bro. My whole face, bro. Australian oh. fans going crazy. So like a portrait of just... Yeah, bro, a portrait of me, Come bro. on, bro. Big one as well, bro. Come on, bro. Look, I told you, bro. Australia man, goes crazy for the people still. that they love sometimes, bro. No, no, it's different. It's different, man. Look, other than this huge link up out here with you and Hedy, bro, like you said before, you've done a whole lot of shit together, bro. Yeah. Is it is it one of the standout moment between you two over all the years that you can think, you look back and go, bro, that was hectic. That was amazing. Madness, bro. Uh, it's hard because I know there's a lot. We've had a lot, man. I know there's a lot. Like, we've had a lot, blood. Um, I w what I'd say is um, the can't be us moment. There's to be fair, there's two in it. Right. Those obviously those like the the whole 2020 run. Bro was doing the mad thing. I was going crazy as well. And then can't be us. That was with Bando and him. You get it? Mm -hmm. That was just organic, you know, just friends just jumping on the song, you get me? And then the song just went crazy. Everyone's still me? fucking with it, bro. Yeah, yeah, the song oh, just man. went mad, you feel me? So, like, yeah, man. Like, to be fair, there's bare moments, man. There's just too many moments, man. 
That's all good, bro. Yeah. We'll create some more while you're here. Yeah, no, hey, speaking definitely. of your 2020 run, like you said, fuck it crazy, bro. Yeah. And you've had some quiet times over the years, but you've always backed it up with absolute yeah, wildness, bro. Naturally. This year, a little bit quiet at times, yeah. but there has been something. So I just want to go through a few of the tracks you've been putting yeah. out. Not long ago, this track was already out. It came through with the video with Pop Calm, bro. Yeah, Is yeah, there anything yeah, yeah. you can talk about the experience of linking up with him on that record? Bro? Yeah, Poppy, that's my brother still. That's mm. my brother, you get me? Naturally, like, that's a, like, trust me, that's my guy, you get me? Like, that's the video that I had to go shoot when I was here that time. That I had to leave Australia, go back to the UK, and then after fly to Jamaica to shoot that vid. But yeah, me and bro linked up, I think it was like around them times as well. And then from then it's just, yeah, family thing. How was shooting a video in Jamaica? What was the love like over there, bro? Jamaica's mad. Before that, I was there before that, innit? But mm. I got so carried away here yeah, that I didn't even end up shooting the vid. I went to Dream <laughs> Weekend. I just enjoyed myself. It was mad. It was a ruckus, huh? What? This was me at Promise Lane, bro. I went to do some work. Did bro, it happen? It didn't happen, bro. So I flew back and then after I went back over there and then we, we sorted it out. But yeah, anytime I link Poppy, it's love, man. You get awesome, me? Awesome, bro. I, bro. Yeah, uh, look, second one we got on the list. Uh, you're long away to collab with SJ, bro. Have, yeah. have they? Look, before that, there hasn't really... You haven't done a track nah, together I mean, before? No, that's, that's me and SJ's first song, still. What, what? What stopped the collab from coming about for so long? Look, bro's on a bit of an extended holiday. Yeah. So was this one that was stuck in the vault you just never got to put out? Or why, why now? Bro? Nah, you know where it is. Bro's been getting real active recently. You got me? Mm -hmm. So he was just showing me a few things. Like, sort of like a few ideas and that. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, I heard that and I said, yeah. I, I, I'll pattern that one, you get me? Mm -hmm. But yeah, you see like with the man them, it's never nothing too complicated. It's literally one, twos, because the man them is actually brothers, you feel me? Fact. So like, it's literally just, yeah, you telling your brethren something and just follow it through. What's it like then filming the video? Because obviously he's not there for the video, but what's it like filming the video and like communicating that back to him, bro? Was he like, yeah, let's fucking just drop yeah, whatever yeah, you yeah. can do, but I trust you. Yeah, it was mad. It was mad. But he knows, you get me, bro. Anything in the house, trust me, that will get sorted, you feel me? 100%, like the bro. The video, the video is just, yeah, normal, bro. Literally just pulled up on the block, you get me? I don't even think I have my hair done, you see, you got me, bro. Energy on the block? Yeah, man, just pulled up on the block naturally, yeah, come and get this done, you got me? Let's you know, go, just, bro. Another yeah, massive man. collab that you did put out this year is again with your OFB brothers, bro. Hetty, RV, the G'd up inspired yeah. play for keeps, bro. Yeah, yeah. Um, how is it, after all these years, still being able to come together, link on a record, and the whole world still lose their fucking mind over it, yeah, bro? it's mad still. It's just, it's a blessing, isn't it? You got me? The man have been through a lot, so it's only just with positivity, man. Just did you positivity. did you spend much time with the J-Dot boys over there? Yeah, 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 yeah. G the TK Paco, that's my guys, bro. That's my brothers, you feel me? Good like, time. That's, that's my problem. They're like family, you feel me? Like anytime I'm in Australia, especially, bro, I'm, that's who I'm with more time. You get me? I love that. Bro. Them, man, that's love. It's, I, just, I just love to see the UK and you and, and, and AUS connected anyway no, possible, to be honest, man, bro. Definitely. Once man found out, man could get over here. Yeah, man went wasting no time still. Yeah, bro. Oh, look, I got something around that in a minute, bro. But look, it kind of goes off this. RV actually posted yesterday, bro. He posted, don't go to jail. I should be in Australia right now, bro. Yeah, bro. How, does it feel like you're a man down over here? Bro, bro. What, what? It's mad, bro. We're losing a few members right now. Mm. Bro, there's like 20 of us on a holiday right now. You feel me? So, like... Trust me, bro, it's it's sad, isn't it? You get me? But bro's doing everything he can to get over here. You get me? RV, he's like, he's the glue to this, basically, with the whole G-Dot thing. You get me? He's the link to it. You feel me? He's he seems like a friendly-ass guy, too, yeah, to Yeah, bro, honest, he's bro. he's the one that, that, that sorted out the link and then, yeah, just brought us all together. You feel me? But, yeah, man, bro, definitely needs to get over here still, just... Talk to the government. Timing, bro. bro. Timing. Whoever Timing, the prime bro. minister is right now. Yeah, let man. Us in, bro. Trust me, let him in, man. Is there is there anything of like your past decisions that you made? Any any moments that it stopped you from being able to fucking hit because of past decisions you've made, bro? Nah, man. Like I don't like. You got me. You've been but able to do what you need to do. Yeah, bro. I'm, I live a normal life because literally, bro, you got me. I'm, I'm here for that, bro. Yeah, man. But yeah. another new track you must have on the way then, a preview you previewed over here. Was it Sober? Because it had, yeah, it had yeah, sober. sober. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, first of all, what's, what's about the track? It's just it's bro, coming it's just, soon. What's, just, what's the go? Just having a good time, bro. That's You see that song? Trust me, when it touches, it's going to be mad still. But the song's just about having a good time, bro. Let's you go. You get me? I've got Sober coming out. i got a Millionaire or well, another rhythm coming out. I got a few to be honest. You know, this year we're looking out 2025. Yeah, no, no, definitely this year still. Definitely. I give them a little, little bits and pieces, you get me? But by the time it's 2025, I'm really going crazy, you get me? I'm just that 2020 up that. run on a comeback or what? Bro? Yeah, definitely. Come Did you see on. that? Yeah, I'll always do that. You feel me? I'll always t t take a little break, go back, take a little break. I don't want to be in everyone's faces all the time, you get me? So 
I'll, I'll mash a little works for a bit and then after I'll go into hiding for a second and work on some new sounds and then come work, you get me? Oh, bro, I'm here for it. But look, what sober, bro. All right, the opposite of that. When you're not sober, first of all, what are you drinking? And what's a night out look like with the OFB boys, bro? Uh, boy, I can't lie. Yeah. Recently, I've discovered my love for tequila. Huh? Mm. Tequila's mad, bro. But you see, like, when the man them's out, it's like, it's, 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 everywhere's just got energy, you get it? But man's more... You know, I, I don't know. I can't. I, don't, I can't dance in them thing there. You get me, bro? <laughs> no chance. Yeah, I don't know how to dance. You get me. So when I'm lit, I'm like it might look like I'm not lit, but I'm lit. I'm just in the corner, just holding my vibe. You get me? But everyone might come up to me like, "Oh, you're right. Like you look like you're not in jam." But I'm saying, "Bro, I'm having a great time, bro. Because this is this is how I vibe." You get me? But yeah, man. You know the man them thing. The man them just keep it steady, man. Literally, man. Man just like happy to be out there and have a good time. You feel me? And Enjoy the love from the people. I love that, bro. Yeah, look, man. back onto the music, guys. Look, versatility, especially the three tracks I just mentioned before. Yeah. You're versatile with everything you've done over the years, yeah? Obviously, yeah. you made a name for yourself throughout the drill time, the, yeah. the drill era that's yeah. still going. Um, but you've also experimented with bulk sounds. Yeah. Right now, what, what's your current go-to sound, bro? What's something that you love to get into the studio and make, bro? Uh, to be fair, yeah, I like, I like making like, you know, like songs with like melodies and stuff. You get me? That's what I like. You get me? Like, or yeah, just songs. Whatever it is, to be honest, yeah. As long as it sounds good, isn't it? you get me. I don't really go into the studio and think I'm gonna make an Afro beat song or I'm gonna make a drill song. Or it's just if I go in there and I hear a cold beat, then yeah, I just you don't kill it, bro. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Whatever the beat needs me to do, that's what I do. You feel me? Yeah, bro. That's what we're here for, bro. Look, this year we already said a little bit quiet, been working, bro. What's your focus been on? In general, bro, throughout the years. Boy, it's just, you know, like family, mm. you got me, family, obviously just building more sounds, new sounds and shit, you feel me? Just protect, like perfecting the craft. Like I've been, I've been focusing on a few stuff, you got me? Like in, in due time and I'm just going to release everything, you got me? But mostly I've just been getting myself together, you got me, focusing on family and that and then, yeah, man. I've just bro, been discovering new sounds. First, so I'm fucking here for him, my oh, brother. Man. Come on, man. Um, bro, we're moving across here. Last yeah. year, you starred in Trapping, bro. Your first acting yeah. role, right? First acting role, bro. I actually had a watch of a few episodes, bro. Like yeah. the, few, the few, a few, few episodes, a few minutes of this shit today. Yeah. Um, obviously, way different to the artist life, bro. Yeah. What would you say was the hardest part about transitioning to being an actor for this part, bro? Boy, I'd say the timing. I'd say the timing, you know, because it's like, you might, you might wake at call eight, you might have an 8.30 start, yeah? Mm. And then you finish at 9.15, like literally in like an hour or something, or, or 8.30 start and then finish at 8.45. But then you might have a 8.30 start and then finish at 5 a.m. You get me? It depends, like, <laughs> no way, yeah, bro. bro, like, it's Where, mad. Man, you see, there's a scene where, like, I got the geese carrying mm. the dead body and shit. Like, we done that at, like, five in the morning, bro, in the cold, in the forest and shit. It was crazy, bro. They want you to you really know? feel that, pla that yeah, part bro. of it, bro. Like, you wow. got to feel the role still. Like, you really got to be the guy. So it was, it was dark. I was in a dark mode when I was with you. Like, yeah, cause I actually had to, like, get in character, bro. It was crazy. Bro, so in saying that, like, if you got to continue that on, what would be your dream style of movie, bro? I don't know, you know. Not sure? I'm not sure, probably like a James Bond type of thing Ooh, or something. Bro, like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. Like a madness, like, you get me? Something action packed, Mission Impossible or some shit, like. Cause, and as everyone always says, you got the voice for it, bro. You yeah, know what you I mean? Get me. Yeah, I'll be on that slow. I'll be on that, definitely. Um, bro, look, you've been deep in the UK rap world for a long time now, bro. Yeah. I'm sure you've dealt with a whole lot of over these, but positive and negative, yeah? Mm. Especially over your side of the world. What would be the biggest lesson, the biggest takeaway when it comes to the music industry, bro? Uh, Oh. What do you mean, like, in terms of, like... Like, something you've been like, ah, oh, this is how I have to move now, because this shit happened, or, like, this is what I want to do, because, like, you know, this is how we got to oh, do yeah. it on this side. Yeah, no, I just, um... But I'm just trying to... I'm still figuring out how to just make man's fans happy, you get me? Mm -hmm. Literally, you know, like, man's supporters, I'm literally just figuring out, like, ways to, to make them happy and that, in terms of, like, music-wise and that. Like, it's like, over the years, man, it's just grown, isn't it? Like I've just grown more mature, especially towards men's business, towards men's career and shit. Like, just literally just 
it's a man's learning still. I'm still learning. You know, every day, bro. Well, every look, bro, day. You there's me? time for this. And that that's what actually what I was going to next. What would be the biggest growth thing or biggest change you've seen in yourself from like back eight years ago to now, bro? I know you said you've seen some growth in yourself. Yeah, bro. More time, like. But I just, I, 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 I think about stuff like 10 times over before I go through the things, you get me? Mm hmm. Like, I, I proper think about stuff now. I don't just, I'm not irrational, you get me? I try to take my time to learn before I do these things, you get me? So, yeah, I think it's just, I don't know, me just, I don't know, man, just. That, that's, that's something in it. Yeah, like, it's honest, like, it's bro. like, yeah, I've, I've just found a way, innit? I've just found a way to, like, instead of just making quick decisions and then regretting it after, like, I just, I make sure I go through all the possible routes of how it can go good or bad you get me and then yeah man from there I'll make my decision you get me bro I like that bro that, hey thinking is the hardest part for some people yeah, you know you trust think me, you can cause a madness yeah, bro yeah bro I used to have irrational thinking back in the day so I wouldn't I wouldn't really like think stuff through I just do you get me but now uh, you like, got this yeah yeah I love definitely. it bro and to finish up bro look it's a big achievement even getting over this side of the world taking to the country seeing fans over the over the last however many years what, do you, what would you say is your biggest achievement in this music shit bro or it can even be outside bro just a life thing uh, well, I just say like just just providing in it. You get me? Mm. Providing, stay relevant. Like just being myself in it. You got me? Now, like, I'm not really. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff that I still want to do, but I feel like the main thing for me is like I I've, I feel like I've done well to still be at like the heights of my my craft. And you got me? Facts, bro. Yeah. And I'm still, I just keep going. As long as the, like, the people them will always see me, you feel me? So, yeah, man. That's it, bro. All right, I appreciate yeah. your time, cuz, man. That's no it. Well, man. Hey, thank you again. Anytime. Kill that shit well, tonight. Man. Hey, it's your boy, Wings. It's Abra's Take Flight. Well, hey, we are. Hello.